This is Josiah Plays Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. We're back with my character, Cato Bloodrose, the Fateless One. And as a reminder of what's going on, I need to speak with a Fate Weaver in Gorhart named Agarth or Agarth. Party on, Wayne. Party on, Agarth. Wayne's world. Anybody? Okay, so. Let's roll. Beautiful surroundings. Uh oh. Somebody important. He's got his own cutscene. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agarth. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? Well, I was looking for this guy. That's convenient. What is a fate weaver exactly? Fate weavers look at the great tapestry of fate. The threads will tell us how a life will unfold. But knowing the future and being able to change it are two very different things. There's trouble at the tower. Trust me, I've known that for a long time. Nobody can change fate. Poor old Fomidus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. It's a shame he'll be dead by now. What makes you think he's dead? The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but Hughes' success would come on the day of his death. He took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. The cards? What cards? You really don't know much, do you? A Fate Weaver taps into the threads of fate and channels that energy through a focus. My order prefers cards. The cards are unique to each Fate Weaver, since we all see the weave differently. I see. Say, could you help me out? Anything you could do or give me would be most appreciated. I suppose I could spare a little help in memory of Hughes, or in celebration of his success. Whichever. Three potions, y'all. Well, I just woke up in the tower. You? You're the one? Then that means... It all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Gravedigger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. Oh! Tuatha are here, how rude. A mortal? <laughs> Deal with it. Before God's flow! <laughs> Your future is running out! Perform special attacks and defeat enemies to get their throats of fate energy. Press F to continue. Okay. Another victory. Uh oh, here comes some assholes. When your fate meter is full, which it just became full for no reason apparently, the fate symbol will pulse. You can then use your fate energy to enter reckoning mode. Oh shit, it's in the name of the game. It must be important. Press F to continue. Reckoning mode greatly increases your speed and attack power. It lasts until either your fate meter runs out or you fate shift an enemy. Hold X to harness the power of fate and enter reckoning mode. Your telling ends here. Time to reckon, Come motherfuckers. As you defeat enemies in reckoning mode, their fates will begin to unravel. Press F to continue. That guy's unraveling. unraveling. Reckoning mode is cool. 
Move near an unraveling enemy and press F to perform a fate shift. It uses your remaining fate energy to destroy all unraveling foes and grants you an experience bonus. I don't want an experience bonus, to be honest. I am not going to press this face bar. Ooh, that is badass. Another victory! And it kills all three of them. The thing is, I'm already going to overlevel the content in this game severely. So, I choose not to get any experience bonuses at any what? time. What? How? What are you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? Eh, that's what I do. Did the well cause it? Hughes may have brought you back to life. But that was still part of fate's plan. Nothing short of a god can do what you did. Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. Do you always see death? It's a gift. Some people paint landscapes. Other people write poetry. I peer into the weave of fate's tapestry and see people's deaths. Is this why Hughes sent me? That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan, unlike most gnomes. All right, show me my fate. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much... So real. You can't see my fate. Fate's weave is always hard to see. It's in motion, hard to make out, but undeniably there. Yours is just... missing. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine. Oh shit, I'm the only one with free will in the whole world, apparently. <clears throat> Alright, I've unlocked a destiny. Destinies are kind of like subclasses. That you can get and you have to qualify for them by having a certain amount of points. And there's ones for like, if you put all your points into might, you can qualify for these ones that are related to might. Or same with finesse, there's so many different ones that you can qualify for as you get more powerful. And then there's ones that are like a mix. So if you've got your mix of di two different things, and there's one even, there's even a, a pathway you can take if you want to mix between all three different things. I'm going Might Finesse. That's my, that's my deal here. So this is the tree that I'm going to be going down um, as, I, as I proceed. But for right now, I don't qualify for any of these yet until I at least have six in Might and six in Finesse. So the only ones I qualify for right now are these starter ones. So I'm currently a Fateless one. Newly resurrected, your fate is blank, formless, and ready to be forged into the shape of your choosing. I can be a brawler. With this destiny, you are a formidable melee combatant. You can withstand a lot of punishment, and it is usually more efficient for you to block or suffer an attack rather than dodge one. It gives me 15% extra melee attack damage and 20% block efficacy. I can be a rogue. Unlike many of the warriors of Amalur, rogues prefer to fight from far away or from behind, or by dishonorable means. Whoa, whoa, dishonorable is such a harsh term. Listen, I practice what I like to call the path of oblique angles, and, you know, some people would call my methods dishonorable, but really, it's just a matter of... of Reducing the length of time an encounter takes by, you know, gaining every possible advantage. 
Honestly, it's a method of reducing the amount of violence that happens, in a manner of speaking. Backstabbing people equals peace. And usually by surprise. As a rogue, you sneak, dodge, and slather wep- Oh man, they used to use the word slather. Nice. And slather weapons with poison to gain the advantage in combat. You get some ranged attack damage, some damage resistance while dodging, and a little bit of extra piercing damage. Or I could be an acolyte where I do magic shit. But no, let's keep it real here. Um, I think I'm going to pick Brawler because I want that just straight up 15% melee damage more than all this shit. So we're going to start off as a Brawler, and I think I can change this literally at any time that I want. So as soon as I qualify for something else, like if I get 11 in Might, I can immediately change to Fighter. Or if I get 6 in Might and 6 in Finesse, I can immediately change to Duelist or whatever. Apparently I can become an Avenger, Slayer, Blade Master. With the build that I'm planning, I think I'm only going to get as far as Slayer because I don't think I'll, I'll actually qualify. For Blade Master, so Slayer will probably be my ultimate. Which looks super badass. So anyway, I'm a brawl. I'm a brawl and I'm a confirm. What did you see, Agarth? I can see the threads around you. But they're shifting, changing so rapidly, I can't make sense of them. Normally the threads would guide my hand to the cards. And I'd use those cards to see your pattern in the weave. But it just didn't happen. They wouldn't focus. So either there's something wrong with me, and there isn't. Could be. Or there's something very wrong with you. Probably. But what does this mean? It could mean nothing. Or it could mean everything. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that. Or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings, but we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. I have some questions before you go. This Arden, what can you tell me about him? You can find Arden's little cottage in the middle of Yovan. Had to move there when he got run out of town. He's a damned good fate weaver. But that doesn't make you very popular. Especially not in dark days like these. And what else can you tell me about yourself, Agarth? You seem a mysterious figure. Once I was Agarth the Unyielding, the Blade of Avgrum. Wow. I wrestled the Colossus Priestess and declined knighthood by the High King of the Fey. This guy's a big deal. I was deal. a hero of men. Sure but you that were, that wasn't enough for me. I joined the Fate Weavers, hoping to find a way to conquer destiny itself. Turns out fate is the one thing I couldn't fight. Look, I noticed you weren't doing all that much damage when we were fighting those two Wathas, so I'm not sure if I believe your story about being Mr. Super Awesome Guy. Um, poor Hughes. Did you know him well? Hughes was always an odd one. Curious and determined as any of his kind, sure. He never shut up about his work. But he always knew what was important. He didn't worry about dying as long as he knew he'd get the well working. Those strange fey that have been attacking. Do you have any insights on them? The Tawatha aren't like any fey I've ever known. They're cruel, bloodthirsty, and savage. Why, they're practically human. See what he did there. I don't understand all this fate stuff anyway. What is fate? How does it work? Also, magnets. We are all threads in the tapestry of fate. Measured, woven, and cut according to a great plan. Fate weavers undertake the task of reading those threads. Okay, that's just a metaphor. Our that title always was a bit of lie, since we have no control over how that tapestry is woven. But you do. And when a fate weaver looks at your place in the weave, 
We see only the shapes of what you may choose to become. So, honestly, what do you fate weavers do anyway? It all seems a bit dodgy to me. The fate weavers were once a great unified order of sages from all the mortal races. We foretold the destinies of kings and gods. But that power takes a toll. Nobody likes bad news. And all the news in the world is getting worse. The order splintered long ago. Now the old traditions are all but lost. And all I foretell is the fate of my beer. And I see it being empty soon. Hashtag beer fate. But what's wrong with my fate? That's just it. I don't know if you've got one. But that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yulvan. I'll meet you there. You, you assume that I know how to get to Yulvan. Like, oh, I guess I'll just walk randomly east and I'll happen to hit this town. That's not how geography works. <laughs> also, I don't even have a compass. Alright, I'll find Yulvan one way or another. Goodbye. What could this all mean? What could it all mean? Is there any loot on these? Let's grab up on some of this star thistle. No. Gus Sludge. If Tim was here, he'd laugh at the Just Sludge thing. I don't know if I have the energy to explain it. Let's grab up on some Ember Eyes. Not just sludge. I actually got ever rise. Oh. Huh. Now this guy can give me a respec because he's a fate weaver, but it costs. Oh hey, loot! Ember eyes. It's not loot. Black Kohosh, just sludge. Okay, um. Let's talk to Agarth. Or Agarth. I've heard it both ways. From him. The voice actor forgot how to pronounce it. Okay, let's talk to him. Let's quick save first, because I haven't done that in a while. Still here, huh? Can't quite decide if you want to hear what the cards say, can you? But I want him to weave my fate. What could this all mean? Look, I know for a fact you can talk to this guy and he will weave Still your fate. Still here, huh? Can't quite decide if you want to hear what the cards say, can you? Maybe you have to go to town first. Hmm. Weird. What could this all mean? Because the thing is... Greater mana regen, greater health... Regen potion, map to radial. I'll put it right there. Because... Right now, I have a couple of wasted points that I'd like to reassign. I have one in Longsword Mastery, and I don't even use Longswords. I mean, technically, I have a Longsword equipped right now, but I'm about to not use one basically ever again. So, I want to <coughs> get rid of that, and I want to get rid of Stormbolt. And then I'd have those two points that I could put into getting Harpoon, which I want, and Brutal Weaponry 1, because I'm about to get a Greatsword as soon as I get to town. But I think I have to go to town and then come back and talk to him. For him to fate weave me. He says I'm a brawler now. I'm a brawler. It's kind of like being... A baller, but with more... Am I even going the right way? Apparently. Cool. I 
sometimes you just gotta stab the air. Oh, hidden area. Very uneventful hidden area, and also not that hidden. Lisa's breath. New quest, the legend of dead Cal. Received Alpha Navy recruitment letter. Ah. The DLC missions. The Teeth of Naros. That's the two DLCs. I just got the missions to start the DLCs, y'all. Well, I'm not even going to look at those until the time is right. And the time is certainly not right. Ooh, just a random chest right here. Leather leggings and crude leather leggings. And a lightning shard. Let's talk about these leggings. Right now... My current leggings give me 5 crit damage and 5 armor and 16 armor. This has an armor socket. I think I'm happy with my current selection. Accrued leather leggings. Accrued. Special delivery. Travel to Gorhart. I have received a package of special items. They are currently being stored in a chest in Gorhart Village. I should go there to claim them. Legend of Dead Cal and Teeth of Naros. Agoth? Fateweaver and close friend to Hughes says that I appear to have no fate. If it's true, I would be the first mortal with no destiny. Agarth suggested we meet with a fellow Fade Weaver, Arden, in Yolven. Non cow leather leggings. Oh, yeah, well, obviously. Obviously. Ooh, I think this is a lore stone. I think it gives me lore. Of all the songs in halls of lore, there echoes none more grand than Olain's many feats of might, the pure. And Lady of the Light. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart spring of day. Sounds cool. Alan Torth, Lord Thorstone. So then I could go to like here and you can see that I've got one out of five in the Dalantarth collection. And when I get them all, I get 8% poison resistance. And I can actually taste the lores. Something I need to know later. And look how many of them there are. And each one of these has, this has like 10 parts, 10 parts. A lot of them have five parts. Five or ten parts. Oh my god, that's a lot of lore. And each one gives you a bonus once you get all the lore, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna try to get all the lore. I mean, assuming I play this all the way through. If I do. Every single lore stone. Man, there's a fuck ton of plants around. Like, a fucking absurd... No I guess it's... Well, I guess it's not that much different from the... The Witcher 3 or something. With like, the amount of fucking plants you can pick everywhere. Look at this thing. It's basically like this world's equivalent of a cow, I think. Pretty sure this is a, uh, Kingdoms of Amalur bull. Looks a lot like a yak or something. It's a chicken. I'm gonna try not to kill any chickens, even though there's a stat in, in your status screen game that says chicken slain. I just don't think I'm gonna murder chickens. I think I killed a shitload of chickens when I played this before. A long time ago. But dude, it's been like six years since I played this. Maybe five. 
tops. Five or six. There's some kind of assemblage happening over here, and I don't trust it. I don't trust it one bit. A quick save. New location discovered Gorehart. You're now able to fast travel to this location from your world map by pressing M. If you want to fast travel, press 3 to switch from local to world map. Okay, oh, let's look at the local map first, though. Shows where I am. Shows there's a merchant and an alchemy workbench and golden age alchemy, and it shows a bunch of little people. And it shows there's a quest person there, Herc Adwold, and it shows the corner shop, a blacksmith, a blacksmithing forge, a merchant, the lawbreaker's grotto, a guard, Agner Farhall, whatever that is, there's the Gorehart Inn, there's a guard, there's a special deliveries chest, I really want to go to that because it's got some stuff in there for me that I really want, including sword. Spoiler alert. Detect hidden trainer, ooh, healer, a merchant. Another guard. A lot of guards in this fucking little town. There's only like three buildings, and there's more. I mean, how many guards do these people need? Gazella Wolflack is over here, and Sister Zelda, and Brother Link. There's no Brother Link, but then there's Father Dinwell with another quest for me, and then there's a bunkhouse and a chapel, and somebody named Airy over here. A lot going on in this little area. A lot going on. Wait a minute, what's happening back here? Meet Arden. Oh. That's just telling me he gave me the quest there, I guess. Everyone just stand back. The warden can't work when you're crowding so close. Go back to your business. Go on. So one thing that's cool about this... Oh, everybody's dispersing. One thing that's cool about this game is it's like Skyrim. In that, if you want to, you can pickpocket the people and you can murder the people. And you can get into a big fight and fight all the guards and everything. I remember doing that in the old game. I'm not going to be doing that in this playthrough. Because I'm trying to play my character as basically being good. And you can steal items from the buildings, and it'll tell you if it's a st stolen item. Just like in 7, or in Skyrim, or in a lot of other games. Also, I'm not going to like go into town and start breaking all the fucking boxes and barrels in town. Like, I'm going to roleplay this shit. Reasonably, I wouldn't come into town and do that. Like, what kind of a dick would I have to be? Like, yeah, I might be able to get a few gold if I break these fucking crates, but... I'm not going to walk into town and start destroying shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, my character wouldn't do that. See Nanny for alchemical goods. But just to show you... If I go into stealth mode right now... See? And I can go into aggressive mode, which lets me attack friendly targets. But, like, I can creep up on her, and I can pick her pocket. Or... If I hit H, I can go into a mode where I'm allowed to murder people, like like non-hostile people. But like I said, I'm not going to be doing that. And I'm not going to be smashing everything. And I'm certainly not going to be killing the livestock. <clears throat> I need a drink. He needs a drink. Melson Shear will never fall. I don't know what Melson Shear is. Nettie Grill just knows blades better than anyone around. Nettie Grildus is the person to talk to, apparently. Did you hear that Nanny's apprentice, Karth, disappeared? Just another strange occurrence. Sounds like a quest! What kind of animal would join the Red Legion? There must be better ways to earn some coin in this world. What's the Red Legion? I don't trust the Brothers of St. Odwigs. Why should I? They stay holed up in that mission like rats. What's St. Odwigs? Don't visit the old Arathi ruin after dusk. It's guarded by the spirits of the war dead. Or so I heard. Alright, listen, Gorehart Citizen, you are dropping a shitload of proper nouns on me, and I don't know what any of them are. Did you hear? One of the monks ran off into the woods looking for Fay. I, I didn't hear. I, ju I just got here. Tell Gisela if you see her husband. 
Okay, sounds like another quest. Tell Gisella if you see her husband. Are we done here? What about Hi. you? Hi. The Fae are watching. Can't you feel it? No. Don't tell anyone, but I once caught Ricca Egest embracing one of the monks from the mission. Quite scandalous. Scandalous! Oh no, embracing. What will happen next? Avoid Dyden Hill. The blood plague is spreading. Where's Dyden Hill? What's the blood plague? I don't feel comfortable with a Fae in Gorhart. Injured, uninjured, doesn't matter. It's a bad omen. There's a Fae here. I swear I spotted Dockelfar in the woods, but I've been wrong before. I, you, you do know that you're literally talking to a Dockelfar right here. Like, right in front of you, I'm a Dockelfar. Like, and you're gonna say some racist shit about Dockelfar. I mean, I don't know if it was racist or not, but it seems bizarre to... Of course, maybe you were oh. telling me that because you think they're my friends or something. The Fae are watching. Can't you feel it? No. If you see a lore stone, touch it. You won't be sorry. They're incredible. I just did. It was lovely. Don't tell anyone, but I once caught Rick and Alright, you've told me that. So one of the tell me that again. It wasn't interesting the first time. Okay. Well, you look important. Awen Rathgar. You look like an A-win to me, am I right? Keep moving. This business doesn't concern you. Unless you're an expert scholar on the Fae, I'd suggest you move along. No reason to be out in the open with the Red Legion about. But what's the Red Legion? Bandits, but no ordinary bandits. Surely you've heard of Red the Dead Edward. Mm -mm. They say he drinks the blood of his captives, that he consumes their souls. That seems unlikely. Or perhaps those are just rumors. I would imagine You should be so. fine if you stay inside the village. Once you go beyond the boundaries of Gorhart, however, your life is in your hands. I mean, isn't my life always in my hands? Okay, bandits. I'm not concerned. I've been fighting immortal fey soldiers. How concerned should I be about bandits, really? Have you heard of the Tuatha? I've been killing them. I'd never seen one of them until a day or so ago. It appears that a small group of warriors ventured inland to strike behind our lines. Believe the stories, friend. The Tuatha were mad. They have been oh, touched know. by a dark magic. They are wholly corrupted and they are the enemy. You don't have to tell me. You're preaching to the choir, really. They're absolute dicks. I heard there was a fay in town. What are they? I'm not sure, but they've been here for longer than any of us can imagine. They're older than the trees. They have to be. They grew them. Humans and immortals cannot live together in peace. At least not forever. The peace we have with the Summer Court is unnatural. That's my opinion. What's the Summer Court? You might call it a Fey Nation, one of two united factions that rule their kind. The Summer Court are not exactly allies, but they do let us be most of the time. It's the other Fey, the Winter Court, that has spawned the dreaded Tuatha, a vicious clan of killers who wish to defeat and enslave all mortals. Well. <clears throat> Is this. Something you could tell me about this war. Are you playing a trick on me? I would hope so. We're going on ten no. years of the mortals and the Tuatha locked in a deadly embrace. That's a long time. Normally I'd decry the bloodshed, but this is a conflict that we cannot afford to lose. Well, let's hope we win then. Who is this wounded maiden laying here? I don't know if you noticed, but St. Odwig's mission closed its gate moments before that Fae's body turned up on the road. I don't like what that suggests. Not at all. What is St. Odwig's mission? The brothers of St. Odwig's are an odd sort, scurrying back and forth across the mission like squirrels gathering nuts. I wonder what goes on behind those closed doors. I've never seen monks scurry before. I don't know that I've ever seen monks at all. I'm kind of missing my memories. Well, thank you for all of the information. I'll be going now. Oh, this is the Fae. And she is really... 
wounded, apparently. Is she wearing leaves? Seems unhappy. Let's talk to this guy, Herc Adwold. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. I'm pretty sure that's fucking Matt Mercer. Holy shit. Wow. I don't know who you are, but I feel like you're someone that I want to ask a lot of questions to. I I'm just full of questions since I woke up with no memory, you know? Tell me about yourself first. I mean, if I'm going to be asking you ten questions or so, I should probably know who I'm speaking with. I'm the Warden of Gorehart. And a poor one at that. I've been back from the war for only six months and been warden for less than two. Now here I am with an injured fay on my doorstep. I'm a disgrace. Dude, that is Matt Mercer. That's the voice of Cicero from Masquerada. And the voice of Adair and Aloth from Pills of Eternity. And the voice of everybody in every game ever. Um... The Warden, huh? Well, what can you tell me about the Fae? I've spent most of my life dealing with them, but they aren't like us. Not at the core. They don't know what it means to be a man who sweats to feed his family. Gorehart has become a sort of refuge for those settlers who wish to live a life free of Fae. I don't see that lasting. Not with the war. Not with everything changing. I'm getting a lot of hate for the Fae from you humans. Why so racist? Well, I've heard that the Court of Summer is kind of your allies, right? Peaceful Fae make up the tribe known as the Court of Summer. They are led by a king in a faraway city, hidden from mortal eyes. That's about all I know. Little more than rumors and stories from my youth. So you are in the war. What can you tell me about it? Our fate rests in the hands of a few chosen who fight in the east. You wouldn't even know it in Gorehart. We're miles away from the smoke and the screams. Oh, miles. Wow. Miles. I mean, how many miles are we talking about here? I have a map, but I don't really know how big it is. So, have you fought the two, Arthur? I don't know what the Tuatha would be doing this far from the front lines. It must be something vital to their interests. They're a wicked breed, though, and I pity the man who meets up with them in these darkened forests. I can tell you what they're doing. They're here to stop the Well of Souls, because, honestly, if your side got the ability to just resurrect your dead left, right, and center, then that would really fuck them in the war, and, well, you know, they couldn't have that. So, there's some bandits about. I've been warned about them. The Red Legion. That's very dramatic. I've seen many bandit clans in the Crystal War and back home. But these men are a particular breed. They're like the victims weak and bloody. The Red Legion has been a presence in the area for several weeks now. Our people are scared to show their faces after dark. Well, I think I'll be killing some of them. This seems a quaint little village. What can you tell me about it? We keep a precarious peace with the Court of Summer, one that's tested every day. I lie awake at night worrying what kind of disaster awaits me in the morning. But we're a good community full of good people. We have our eccentrics, sure, but we work hard and live quietly. That's the best anyone can do these days. But that sounds boring. Can you tell me what happened here with this wounded fae and all? It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? 
It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a fae. I agree. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. Well... You have no idea who attacked her, though? It's difficult to say. We've been plagued by the Red Legion for days. But it's not their way to go after the Fae in the area. They like their targets mortal. In case you haven't heard, there have been some Tuatha sighting in the woods to the west. So that's also a possibility. It's unlikely, though. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... Uh, untraditional. Oh, here we go. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. Well, that's, that's the honest. truth. Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. If not, then we're back where we started. Hold on a minute. You are the warden of this place. You fought in the war against the Tuatha, and you're scared to go talk to some creepo fae stalker lady. All right. Well, where can I find her? She spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. I'll handle it. You stay here. Hope you stay in town. New quest, building bridges. I would like to pursue this quest. Speak to Eri the Fae. A Fae maiden has been attacked and is still clinging to life. The warden of Gorhart village, Herc Adwold, hopes to save her, but he isn't sure how to best treat her wounds. He suggested that I speak to Eri, a fae who spends her time watching the village from above. I took the immediate opportunity to write that down. Any help you can provide would be appreciated. She isn't doing very well. Hope you stay in town. Just ran over the wounded fae's head. Alright. We've got something important right here. It's the big chest of goodies. Oh, there's so many items in here. Now, I have an inventory limit situation, right? So I can't just take all this shit. I'm only going to take the items that I'm actually going to use right now. So basically, there's a set of each type of armor and there's one of every type of weapon. Now, what's cool about this, these are DLC items, but they're low level and they're actually not very powerful. So they don't overpower you to where the game suddenly becomes easy because you've got overpowered items. They're just kind of cool. So, I want to take the forge because that's that's the great sword. The forge is an instrument of change, and its card reflects that. Those fated with the forge bring about change, or are themselves changed, in sudden and often wide-reaching events. I'm going to take the forge. You've cried a great sword. Massive warrior weapons for inflicting immense damage upon your foes. So I won't just be hitting them for two? Is that what you're saying? I'm also going to take... The moon is a finesse required shield that's better than my. S Those fated of the moon cast light into the darkness, revealing the truths that most are afraid to face. I'm going to take that. Uh, the knight or the daggers, I think. Yeah. So if you see, look, they're not that much more powerful than the, da the shitty daggers I've got. I mean, these are starter daggers. And they do 4 and 4, and this only does 5 and 5. So, even though it's purple, I mean, it has a couple extra cool things on here, but even though it's purple, it's not, like, vastly more powerful. It's only slightly more powerful, so it's not going to unbalance the game, which is nice. The card of the knight is considered by most Fate Weavers to be an ill omen, predicting death neat to the one who pulls it. 
Although the card can be an omen, it can also be a blessing, as death is sometimes an agreeable end to a conflict. I'm gonna take that. And then I'm gonna take this Running Man set of armor. The Running Man is a card of desperation. It, like the armor crafted in its name, indicates someone in need of safety and security. The Circle of Therosen believed that the Running Man also indicated a fate that could be changed. So I'm going to take all the Running Man stuff. And the rest of this stuff I'm going to leave in this chest for now. Because I don't have inventory space for it, and I don't need any of it right at the moment. And then I'm going to equip all my new goodies. Running Man Hood. I look like a fucking ninja now. Running Man Armor. Running Man Gluffs. Running Man Pants. Running Man Boots. And now I'm wearing the whole set, and I look pretty cool. I like those shoulders. And I look like a death ninja. And I get a little bonus for having the set. But nothing like huge. And then for my primary weapon, it's time to bring out the forge. Oh, look at this beautiful sword. Again, it's not much more powerful than a normal level 1 great sword would be. So I'm going to replace it soon, probably. But for now... It's going to be rad. And then as my secondary weapon, we will, of course, have the knight. This set of daggers. That is, those are some fucking vicious daggers. Look at those. They're like giant-ass cleavers. They don't look that great for stabbing, though. But that's okay. I need to sell some stuff, too. I'm going to find a place to sell some stuff. I have Hide Helm turned on, so that's why you can't see my ninja mask, because I don't like, usually don't like helms or masks. But that's what I look like now, with my cool new stuff. You never have good lighting on your character in these games. Oh yeah, I look really cool. I don't wanna, um... There we go. And it's flaming. Now I'm gonna try something. And I don't know if it'll work, but how do I sprint? Oh, that's my sh Oh, and that's my new- Oh, I didn't equip that. There was one thing I forgot to equip. And it's the moon. Look at it, it looks pretty neat also. Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna try heading back to Agarth real fast. And see if now he can fate weave me. I don't know why he wouldn't do it before. I forgot how to sprint. Oh, there we go. Super fast sprint. Oh my god. I can just see speed lines trailing behind me. Still here, huh? Can't quite decide if you want to hear Look, what the cards say, can you? This button was absolutely not here before. Remember? It didn't say Fate Weaver over here. And now I can do it. Unbinding your destiny allows you to reset all of your current abilities, skills, and destinies for a price. All points spent will be refunded to you so that you can redistribute them as you see fit. Now, it costs money, and it gets more expensive every time you do it. But it also gets more expensive with each level that you gain. So doing it now while I'm only level 2 will be cheaper than if I waited until I leveled up. So I'm going to unbound my destiny and spend approximately half my money. The money will not be refunded. Yeah, that's cool. And now I'm unbound. What and could I, this all mean? I don't know. It means bad things. It just took off all my armor because I don't qualify to wear it now. Um, Alright, level up. Now, I'm going to put my thing in Detect Hidden again. And now I have six points to spend. So I want Harpoon, level one. 
I want Brutal Weaponry 1 because it gives me the Whirlwind attack for my Greatsword. And I want... Whirlwind can also apply damage over time. Yeah, sure it can. I've heard that before. And I want this, which gives me Shadow Strike, which is the dash all around hitting for people for two skill. And I want a bunch of Assassin's Art. There we go. Now we're talking, and I want to still be a brawler. And now I got new moves. Minotaur Rush? Nox, there's a move called Minotaur Rush. Might as well be called Charge the Pillar. Now I can Whirlwind. Oh, yeah. Shadow Strike and Backstab, yeah. And Harpoon. I can pull enemies to me and do, en do damage to them with that. So... Yeah. Oh, I need to re-equip all my armor. I really want to go kick something's ass now. So the greatsword's a little bit slow, but look at this cool thing I can do. I can charge up into a whirlwind and hit a grip of dudes all at the same time. I wonder if anything has respawned back here. It's probably based on time passing. Like, I don't know, can you wait? Is there a day-night cycle? Is there a way to pass time? Well, it doesn't look like any of this stuff has respawned. The dope-ass tower, though. Alright, are you ready for the whole landscape to become an indistinct blur as I am activating super fast sprint? Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. How do I even manage to navigate without crashing into things when moving at this kind of a breakneck pace? Actually, it's, it's decently fast enough, I guess. I don't know if this game has mounts. Like horses or anything. I mean... It's a lot like Skyrim in a lot of ways, so you would think there would be. Hi. Herc Adwald thinks we should hold counsel with the Fae. I'm Better so to invite tired. a wolf into your home, I say. Tell Gisela if you see her husband. If you haven't spoken to Arnik Arduna, you should. He's a friendly sort, not like most Alpha. Oh, a fellow elf. Great. The Fae are watching. Can't you feel it? I've heard that. I have heard that. Okay, so there's a few different buildings I can go into. This place is, um, the corner shop. I can probably sell stuff here. Oh, and the other thing I can do is, is shoot my harpoon. Which doesn't look like much when you don't have an actual enemy to harpoon to you, but... So I can shoot my harpoon now, too. Alabaster... okay. A lot... oh my god, it's so tempting to destroy all these. Okay, and it's also tempting to steal books. But I'm not gonna steal books. I'm not gonna steal anything. I'm ready for this damn war to be over. I'm ready for our boys and girls to come home. The Tuatha will get what they deserve. 
Sister Zelda has a point. How can the one who embraces everyone reject certain people simply because they're women? It's not right. Wait, what the fuck is he talking about? Who's rejecting women? Ah, oh, the shoulder guards on this armor look really cool from this angle. From I heard that one of the monks attacked someone. I thought they were holy men. Hmm, crazy monks. Interesting. Did you hear? One of the monks ran off into the woods looking for Fay. I did hear. I heard that one of the monks attacked someone. I thought they were holy men. Didn't you just say that? Come in. Hello, what are you wearing on your head? Oh, you've got paintings. Well, this one's cool looking. Reminds me of the blade grave from Tyranny. What that is. Okay, so that'd be stealing, so I'm not gonna... Come in. Ricka. Been a while since I hit the old F5. I like to quick save before I talk to people in case I fuck something up in the conversation. Welcome to Goreheart, the last settlement before the Feylands. How can I fill your pack today? This character provides services. What kind of services? You can enter their service menu by clicking their service button. They really want to use the word service a whole lot. Well, hello. Who might you be? Me. Widowed, going on five years now. All my boys were taken by the Tuatha. Both sons, my brother, and my beloved Avery. Wicked business, this war. I'm sorry to hear that. What else do you know about the war? The Alfar and the Tuatha have been at each other's throats for nearly a decade now. I can't remember the reason. I wonder if they can, the fools. Do you know anything about Fae? The Fae are elemental creatures. Magical and strange. None too considerate of us mortals, either. They see us like pets, or worse, like bugs. It's best that you stay out of the Eastern Forest. I've seen things you can't even imagine. The road is dark and dangerous, and it's a long hike to Dyden Hill. What's Dyden Hill? You will find it settled on a small lake beside the eastern road. Compared to Gorehart, Dyden Hill could be called a city. Oh, I shall have to go there sometime. Speaking of Gorehart, what interesting facts can you tell me about this charming little burg? Some call it the Camp of Cowards, on account of it being settled by those who refuse to enter the forest. Can you blame them? Never trust a wood that whispers. There's Nettie the Smith, and Nanny handles potions and remedies. The inn's across the way if you fancy a pint. Keep an eye out for the Red Legion, though. At the inn? Uh, are the Red Legion here, in town? Oh, I doubt it's an organized group. More likely that it's one scared idiot with a knife. I heard someone in the village mention the Red Legion, but that can't be true. What? I think you should tell me more. You kind of left me hanging there. All right, well... You know, I ask this of everyone I meet. Have you seen my journal? No, it's the wrong game. I just want to know everything about the two author. I don't suppose you have any tidbits. I refuse to speak of them. Please respect my wishes. Okay, well, thank you. Tell me about your... Oh, I can ask her about it again? I'm not gonna... No, I'm not... I'm not... I'm not gonna be that way. This is not... This is not gonna be a keep... A, a tell me what's under your mask situation with Tunon. <laughs> well, can I see what you have for sale? Oh! She has a lot of stuff for sale, holy shit! <gasps> a backpack! Taining this item increases your inventory limit by 10. hey -o! We have our first... thing I want to buy. I mean, I can't begin to afford it right now, but we'll be back. 
for this pack. Lock picks. Ooh, 60. Now, when it says 60, does it mean 60 per lock pick or 60 for 16 lock picks? Probably 60 per lock pick. If they're selling a backpack for $7,500. It is probably 60 per lockpick. Some soft scrabble powder, some black cohosh, a hearty ring. Cheaper than a backpack. Oh my gosh, that is hearty. Holy shit, look how much health and mana it gives you. A bunch of what looks to be bog standard, uninteresting um, armor. Right? Then you've got a bunch of bog standard weapons. Okay, let like let's say I got, had this iron greatsword, this basic greatsword. Look, same damage as the forge, except the forge has the extra burning damage over time and this little bit of health steal chance. So the forge isn't really that powerful. I'll replace it quickly, I'm sure, which is sad because it looks cool. Iron hammer, great swords. Okay, so she doesn't have a damn thing I want. Now, here's the real question. Can I sell as much shit as I want to the merchants, or are we going to play the every merchant can only buy three of your items, ha 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 game? Because I hate that game. I hope this isn't one of those fucking games. So, I've got a smoldering hammer here. Would you like to purchase it for, I guess, 133 points? Look at these items are only worth one. These are worth zero. Hmm. Just realize maybe I can take these things and like break them down and get materials from them. Maybe I shouldn't sell them. Eh, fuck it. I want them out of my inventory. Rest of this crap. Well, she seems to be able to buy as much stuff as I want to sell, at least so far. Ah, yeah. Selling some shit that's worth zero. Feels good. Can I buy that stuff back from her now? I can. Okay. You know what? Fuck you. You just paid me zero for these things, and now you want three coins for them. It's fine. Greater health regen, greater mana. Okay, I'm not keeping all these fucking buff potions. I'm just not. They take up inventory space. I'm never going to remember to use them. I'll probably never need to use them. I mean, healing healing and mana stuff, of course I'll keep. But the rest of this crap... It's done. Slashing fury, steel... No, get out of here. Rizmir dust... Seems like something I should keep, though. Same with, like, crafting materials. Then again, I could just to say to myself, I'm not going to do crafting. Or at least not alchemy, and then I can just sell all this stuff. Well, for now, I'll hold on to it. Black cohosh, ember eyes. Okay, now we got gems. Oh my god, these gems are valuable. Wait a minute. Inventory limit 23 out of 70. I clearly have more than 23 fucking items here. Hold on. Come see me again. How many items do I have? Well, I only have two weapons, apparently. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight items. Nine items. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 items. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I'm already, so something here doesn't count. Plus all these, 5, 6, 27, and all the stuff inside them. All the stuff- Oh, that's- Oh my god, that's so good! Game of the fucking year! 
Okay, I've complained about this before multiple times. I hate it when games give you shit tons of crafting materials that you've got to carry around and they take up all your inventory space. The items that are inside these are not counting against my inventory limit. So I can carry as much crafting shit around as I want without filling up my inventory slots. Oh my god, that's good. That's so good. Okay. So at that point, I shouldn't sell any of this. And I'm thinking these things aren't counting against me either. Because... Otherwise, I would have more than 23. Thinking it might not count the books and stuff against me. I've already read these. Hmm. Alright, anyway, that's cool. Oh, and I have $1,100 now. Yes. What do you need? Alright, so do I want to sell anything else? What about this gem? Put into an armor socket to get 5% fire resistance. Honestly, I'm not so excited about 5% fire resistance. I'd rather just have the 285 coins. So I'm selling that. But the rest of these are used for sage crafting. And I might decide to do sage crafting later, so... I'm going to hold on to them. Need more of these repair kits. I like the fact that they only sell for $5. That means they probably aren't insanely expensive to buy. Ooh, maybe not though. Lockpicks only sell for four, sell for 4 and they cost 60. So there's quite a markup. All right. Come see me again. Is it possible to drop a thing? Like... I still don't have anywhere near enough money to buy any of the things that I'm interested in, but... Like, let's say I want to drop... Some disposal notes. Okay, what if I add it to junk? Destroy. Okay, so I can't put it on the ground. I can just destroy it. I just want to know if those items count. Well, I'll I'll try to pay attention the next time I can pick up. The next time I can pick up a note or a, or something, whether or not it increases my inventory. I, I guess I could loot this bookshelf. Hold on. Let's quick save. Again, I just, I literally just quick saved. I have 22 items, right? Now let's say, yeah, I know, they don't like it. Yeah, I know. Let's take this book. Now, now I have 23 items. So that book counts as an item. But that doesn't mean that all of these notes and stuff do. So it's hard to say. You there, halt! No, I don't. I don't want to halt. I choose to resist arrest. Going to make trouble, are you? But actually, no. I'm just gonna reload my save. Oh my god, the loading times too! This is a good game. This Welcome. is a well fucking crafted game. Short ass loading times. And not falling into the normal traps of inventory woes that I hate so much. Yes. Nettie Grildus, I hear you know a thing or two about weapons. Welcome to Gorhart. Loot blacksmithing supplies. Doesn't say it's stealing. I guess I'll take all these things. These are like free take one. Need a penny? Take a penny. Use the blacksmithing forge. Craft your own weapons. Yeah. What about repairing? Oh, 
Oh, you can salvage stuff. Break gear and the component pieces. Okay. Craft your own weapons and armor. Shows you what components you need to make it. So, if I wanted to make a great sword, I need a great sword core and a hilt. Oh, and then you can use extra items to get a bonus. I see. This implies that I could make a buckler right now. Oh. Oh, this is fancy. This is complex. So I could make a birch guard. But what? If I, if I added some of this other crap, I could make it better. Okay. Well, at this phase of the game... I won't- I'm not gonna be fucking around with crafting much, if at all. I wish I was fighting in the war. The action is in the east. No one's ever seen to author this far west. But at least you're not dying here. I've thought about searching for treasure in that nearby Arathi ruin Agno Farhol, but they say it's overrun with dark spirits. No dark spirits? Some people. Hear it. What is a Rathi? People keep saying a Rathi. I thought about searching for treasure in that- I don't remember the last time I slept. The Red Legion has everyone on guard. We don't ever take our eyes off the forest. You don't have your eyes on your forest right now. You're in a building. Thing. I thought about searching for- I don't remember the last- The post in Gorhart would be an easy one if not for all the thieves and murderers. What kind of animal would join the Red Legion? There must be better ways to earn some coin in this world. Well, in this economy, you know, it's hard times. Welcome. Not, not a lot of jobs to go around. Damn bandits. Watch your satchel. I'm ready for this damn war to be over. I'm ready for our boys and girls to come home. If only the Alpha would have taken me. I'd be on the front lines facing the Tuatha, not here working the fields. Everybody's very excited about joining this war. Damn bandits. Watch your satchel. Okay, that she does not want me to take. Got some suits of armor here. Where did she go? Welcome. Oh, she's actually doing her job. Look at that. Could we have a chat, Nettie? I'd like to ask you a bunch of unnecessary questions and then... Look at your goods and not buy any of them. Are you here for a weapon? Going to earn a lord's favor in this ridiculous war, are you? Oh, you seem to know a thing or two about the war. We here in Gorhart are far from the front, and deliberately so. Our hearts may be with the Alpha, but our bodies stay here, safe on the other side of Dalentarth. Yes, We've sure seen that... our fair share of dead. The truth is, we have as many cemeteries as we do settlements. I'm sure they're very excited that your hearts are with them. So... Tell me about these... these other... these other elves. Troublesome creatures, the Alpha. I'm no literally an Alpha. as a result of their meddling in the affairs of others. Did you really just say that right to my face? I... Don't you see the pointed fucking ears? But what about the Fae? They seem intriguing. The Fae are one with this land in ways that no mortal race could ever be. They are true creatures of magic. Leave the village, walk 50 paces in any direction and you'll find a Fae. Pray it's a friendly one. Well, I came more than 50 paces from that other direction, and I didn't see any Fae over there. So, I don't think you're right. But the Atuatha, now they're Fae, and they are most unpleasant. I hear their warriors die as easily as any others, only they don't stay dead. That can be a problem during wartime. I should think so. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm Cato Bloodrose, and you are? I intended to pledge my sword to the Alpha, to fight the blasted Tuatha. Well, I didn't ask Had my helmet that. freshly polished, my sword sharpened to a deadly edge. Then I saw the cart headed west. 
They carried the corpses of the fallen, some all the way from Melton Shear. After that, my fire to fight went out forever. So what, you were all excited until you learned the fact that people die in war, and then you were like, uh, nope. <laughs> wow. This is really a town full of brave people, isn't it? So, I guess you're a weaponsmith then, eh? I was raised to know weapons before anything else. You won't meet many women who could fashion arrow fletchings before they could speak. Well, I mean, maybe you just learned to speak really late. When did you learn to speak? Alright, well... I don't know what Melson Shear is. I've heard of it, but I don't... You seem like someone who would know what Melson Shear is. You're a woman of the world. It is an Alpha stronghold in the east. Oh, right, And if the reports right. from the front are to be believed, Melson Shear is all that stands between the Tawatha and us. That sounds important. This area, it's called Dalentarth, right? Look around you. These are no mere woods. This is the heart of the Feylands. Once you enter the forest, you won't emerge again until you reach the plains. Okay, listen, did you just literally tell me as though this was some sort of revelatory fact that once you go into the forest, you won't emerge from the forest until you leave the forest? <laughs> you'll be in the forest as long as you are in the forest, you'll be in the forest. Until you reach an area which isn't the forest, you won't have left the forest. Well, thank you. I don't think I would have figured that out on my own. Could you repair something? I mean, I don't actually have anything damaged at the moment. I'm curious how much it costs, because I feel like I'm going to be gouged. Okay. Goodbye, Nettie. I'll be back when I need something fixed. I'll be here. I'm just going to have a quick look upstairs. Don't worry, I'm not a thief. Nice accommodations. Yeah, an armoire. I'll leave that alone. And a dresser. I could just take anything I want from these and no one would know. But that's not the kind of person I am. I am honorable, especially when I'm sneaking up behind people and stabbing them with a dagger while they're unsuspecting. Goodbye, people of this shop. I'm gonna block some shit. Well, let's check this shop now. It's Golden Age Alchemy. Yeah, I can buy some Hello, reasonably man. priced healing potions. I'm sure those would be quite affordable. Hello, guard. That Dida, your friend, has a nice smile. She also has some of the best prices this far west. What does she sell? Avoid the ruins of Agna Fahal. They say the spirits of the Arathi dwell in its dark corridors. I don't go near the place. It would be fun is if everyone in this town used the word Arathi and never told me what it meant. That'd be good. Herc Adwald has more than his fair share of challenges, what with the Red Legion the two offer. I do not envy him. I don't trust those brothers of St. Odwigs. What are they hiding behind those stone walls? People in this town sure don't think much of those monks. I don't trust those brothers of St. Odwigs. Don't believe what they say. Nanny Henry never worked at the Alistar Tower. She's just trying to scare people. You're on quite the little patrol here, aren't you? Arnik Arduna isn't like other local Far Ahmed. He's friendly, not like his icy brethren. Oh, right, the other elves. I wonder if Catherine always healing touch is as soothing as everyone claims. I'd sure love it if she touched me. Okay, well, I think that's a bit inappropriate. We're getting scandalous now. 
Oh. Behave yourself. I'm what will I do? Though. I don't know. Listen, something is telling me, and I don't know what it is. Something is telling me that you have a problem that I can help you with. I don't know why I feel that way. It's just, it's just a feeling that I get. I just wanna, I wanna find some books I can read, but without stealing. I'm sure I'll find tons of books in this game. Okay, here we go. You there, do you feel nauseous, itchy? <laughs> Have you noticed any blood leaking from your eye sockets? I've been noticing the symptoms everywhere. That no, this dreadful. situation could not be any worse. If the Red Legion is involved, then we could all be staring death in the face. What have I done? But... What have you done? What symptoms are you speaking of? Why ask questions when you could never understand the answers? It's clear your prowess is not with wit, but with a weapon. Well, that's rude. If you must know, something of value has been stolen. An alchemical formula that, if released, could cause untold devastation. I see its symptoms everywhere. Only my apprentice, Karth, and I knew of my work on the formula, but he's gone missing as well. Oh, I get it. So you created a biological weapon and it's gotten away from you, into the hands of bandits. Well, that was rather irresponsible of you, wasn't it? And I'm the one who doesn't have good wits? All right, tell me about this formula. It was an early version, unstable and rife with potential dangers. My hope is to develop a weapon that the Alpha can bring against our common enemy, the Tuatha. To say more would be to reveal my secrets. All I can say is that it involves lesions, goiters, and a good deal of pus. Look, I don't think goiters should be brought into war. It's just, it's a principle. Who is this apprentice of yours? His name was Karth Hilfred. I found him one morning outside my door, picking through the ember eyes. I was impressed how well he knew his way around a plant. I've never seen one so eager to learn. I don't trust him. All right. Small person, I will help you get your weapon of mass destruction back so that you can probably do something else irresponsible with it. I do not deserve such good will after what I've engineered. If disaster occurs in Odorath, it will be on my head. I'm not sure where Karth may have gone, but I knew that before he came to me, he found shelter in the ancient chambers of Agnur Farhol, an Irathi ruin east of Gorhart. God damn Once it. Once you've ensured <laughs> Karth's safety, you must learn what's happened to my formula. When you do, destroy it. It's the only way to keep us safe. Oh, that is, that does sound responsible. Good idea. Very well. Can you tell me anything else about where Karth is in these ruins? He always spoke of his time as a wastrel living in the abandoned halls of Agnor Farhall, the Arathi ruin. People say it's haunted, but people say many things. Oh no, it's probably haunted. What else can you tell me about the ruins? The villagers believe it's haunted, but I have a feeling that's a ruse devised by the Red Legion. They mean to terrorize these people into submission, and it's working. These Red Legion don't seem very nice. Bandits, ruthless and well organized. The Red Legion is reaping many rewards by preying on vulnerable Almain settlers traveling east. Long ago, these villains confined themselves to the coast, but recently they've moved inland to avoid the war. Now they're our problem. Are they immune to death? Speaking of the war, what else do you know about it? I have seen many conflicts unfold, but never have I seen one in which the fates of so many are at stake. The Tuatha will not settle for simple victory. They want total domination and will do whatever it takes to achieve it. 
Yes, they seem rather motivated. Any other thoughts on the Tuatha? They are the undying, the corrupted roots. Their existence is an abomination. That's Everything in Amalur exists for a particular reason, except for the Tuatha. They're not meant to be. Well, maybe we could make friends with them. I'm sorry, I realize I don't know anything about you. If you must know, my name is Nani Hanri, formerly the chief alchemist of Alistar. But you wouldn't know what that is, would you? When the scholars in the tower ordered I, I me to would. leave the grounds, I took refuge here. The Almain are a private people, keen to keep to themselves, like me. Well, there's a few things there. One, I have heard you're lying about that. Two, what do you mean they ordered you to leave the grounds? And three, I've been to Alistar. I was just there recently, in fact. Haven't you seen it? The Grim Tower to the West. Avoid its shadow if you can, because what transpires inside Alistar will benefit no one, I would know. Actually, it benefited me quite a lot. It brought me back from the dead. So, other than inventing, you know, terrible biological weapons, what kind of experiments are you up to? For years I dabbled in alchemy, healing, divination, and transmutation. All of that seems frivolous now, what with the war looming over us. Now I spend my sleepless nights in search of a formula that will end such conflicts forever. That's not going to happen. Oh, I'm sorry, you said your apprentice. His name is Karth, right? I fear for his life. Karth was gifted in a way that I've witnessed in only a select few. If the Red Legion has him, there's no telling of how he'll be treated. Well, I'll try to find him then. Before I go, could I see what you have on offer? Oh. You are really fucking proud of these potions, aren't you? 1300 coins for one potion. That's... Well... Oh. It's rather outlandish. What's a purification potion? Oh, it cures you of disease. Seems like a good thing to have. Alright, minor healing potions are only 188. That's much more reasonable. It restores a small amount of your health. How much is a small amount? Sorcerer's Intelligence. Mana. Like, what's the comparison between the Healing Potion and the Health Regen Potion in terms of how much health you get? Oh, and she sells some plants as well. In case you want to make your own. Okay. Right. Well, I may be back to buy some of these, or I may not. Goodbye. Goodbye. Recipe for trouble quest. Well, let me write this down in my journal really quickly. Alchemist Nanny Hanry's dangerous secret formula has been stolen, and her apprentice Karth has gone missing. Nanny believes that Karth may be hiding in... Agnafarhal. Agnafarhal. And Arathi, and I'm just writing that word down here in my journal even though I still don't know what it means. Ruin to the southeast of Gorhart Village. I mean, if you're all going to talk about how this ruin is an Arathi ruin, it's not just a ruin. You could have just said it's a ruin, right? But every motherfucker wants to say it's an Arathi ruin. Like, that's very important. Like... Oh, it's not just some ruin, it's an Arathi ruin, and that's with a capital E. But, you know, it's not worth mentioning what the Arathi are. I'm suspecting that they're basically this game's equivalent of the Dementicare. Time is of the essence. That's never been more true. Okay. Goodbye. Can't talk. 
Herc doesn't like loafers. But Herc's not here. He won't even know that you're talking to me. Oh, I can learn some things, but I don't want to. Well, this is a rather ominous looking cage. Why does she need a giant cage? Uh, couldn't I just look at the books? Alchemy workbench allows you to create potions. Shocker. Alright, uh, I want to experiment. Shows all reagents and allows you to just mix them. Oh, Skyrim style. Okay, I don't want to just mix some shit. What can I make? Oh, I have no recipes. So... The only way I could make anything is by experimenting. Well, Ember Eyes says restoration, so I'll bet that's what I need for healing potions. But what do I mix it with? Ice? Health? Ah, oh, health. That's what I mix it with. Black Cohosh. Long known for their medicinal properties. Black Cohosh roots can be shredded and combined with other reagents to imbue a potion with the essence of good health. Press 2 to combine them. And I don't have enough alchemy to add extra things, but that's fine. I suspect this will make a healing potion. Minor healing potion achievement unlocked. It didn't explode. Yes. Requires black cohosh and ember eyes. Recipe discovered. Uh, I can't experiment with those again. I know, I've got recipes. That's great. It only takes two of these. Well, let's make another one. You've made a potion. Okay. I know. Get out of here now. I don't have enough cohosh. But now I know the thing that I needed to know. Achievement unlocked. It didn't explode. Oh, yeah, there's a thing for achievements literally right in the game. I don't want to really look at them because sometimes the achievements give you like some spoilers. But it doesn't look like I get anything for getting the achievements. So that's good to know. So now I've got eight of these. I'd like to have more than eight. But now I know that instead of buying a potion for 188 coins, I could buy a fucking black cohosh for 40 coins and make one. But if Need I wanted light. the full Try ingredients, the it'd be 40, 80, 120. Still, still cheaper than buying the actual potions. So, buying the stuff from her and then making my own... Cheaper. Time is of the essence. That's never been more true. Hundred and eighty-eight. Forty apiece. So let's say I buy all of the black cohosh. And Well, hold on, now I need to see how many of each I Goodbye. have. Folio of alchemical recipes. I've got 13. I can make six. I've got exactly what I need to make six healing potions. Sweet. Behave yourself. Of course I will. I'm not a savage. There we go. 
Now I'm feeling much more confident about my number of healing potions. Because I have 14 now. Okay, good. So if I need to suck these things down like water while I'm getting my ass kicked, which will happen. I've got enough. This indicates that the inn and the plus place, apparently they do math there or something? Uh, that way. That's the anvil. Just imagining all the incredible riches that lurks within those crates. All right, let's ha let's hear it. Tell me something about Arathi ruins. I can understand why these people are scared. Not only do they live in the shadow of the Fey, but now they have the Red Legion to deal with. I'll take care of the Red Legion. Don't worry. I don't trust those brothers of St. Odwig's. I don't trust those. That Dida Eolfred. That Dida Eolfred has oh, a nice no. this smile. This guy's about to start she talking to me how he wants to hear us touch him. West. Well, I hear some festive music in here. I wonder what kind of applause I can give these spoony bards. Wait. You hear music coming from the inn? Oh, okay. And then you come inside and there's no- Oh no, there's the spoonitude right there. Ah, oh, what's even happening here? Bards don't even have names, they're just Gorehart citizen. I swear I spotted Dockelfar in the woods. But I've been wrong before. I am Dockelfar. Be cautious though. in the forest. There are dangers with sharp teeth, and many of them. With so many of our young ones at war, it's been quiet in Gorehart. Sending the children off. I wish the village wasn't so near to Agna Farhole. You know it's haunted, don't you? Oh yes, and it's a Rathi. That's important too. Have you seen Brother Egan around? He was a frequent visitor in the inn, but I haven't seen him in days. Nope, haven't seen him. Thankfully, the war is far from here. Not really, there's two Arthur running around all over the place. If you haven't spoken to Arnik Arduna, you should. He's a friendly sort, not like most Alpha. Wow, thanks for the casual racism about elves, which I'm getting from a lot of people. The Tuatha will get what they deserve. There's Warsworn in the inn. They can help you find work if you're interested. Warsworn? I don't know what that is, but... Okay, you go on doing your spoonage. And I will... Speak to this person by the fire. Thankfully, the war is far from here. Wait, you sound exactly like the last man I was talking to. Was I accidentally talking to you that whole time? There's war sworn in the inn. No. Nope. They can help you find work if you're interested. Crazy Sister Zelda. Sister Zelda has a point. How can the one who embraces everyone reject certain people simply because they're women? It's not right. Oh, she probably wants to be a monk or something, and they won't let her. Damn bandits. Watch your satchel. I will. I'll watch it. I will watch it. This place... This place is quite large. They're not really making very good use of this space. I mean... I guess I don't expect many customers, but look how huge this common room is. And there's not very many tables, and there's all this empty space. I mean... The saying. They could fit more customers in here if they... All right, Gorhart hey citizen. Gorhart used to be bigger before the war. Did the town shrink? Gorhart used to be bigger before. There's war sworn in the inn. If you haven't spoken to Arnik Arduna, you should. All right, it's a friendly what's source. this? Everybody like hates Alpha. elves. I get it. Hello, Hello, woman with mugs. I don't feel comfortable with a fay in Gorhart. Injured, uninjured, doesn't the Red Legion is about. Best to sleep with your sword by your side. I don't sleep. The Fey are watching. Can't you feel it? Arnak Arduna. Right, if you see a law stone, touch it. You won't be sorry. They're incredible. I swear, I saw what looked like a Tawatha running through the What's trees this? west of the village. Of course, 
I've never seen a Tuatha, so... So really you have no idea what the fuck you're talking about, right? Is that what we're getting? Alright, Honor Guard Duna, I'm here to ask you many questions. Come in, rest your boots by the fire, and drown your worries in a flagon of our finest. I am Arnik Arduna, and this is the famous Gorhart Inn. Well, you're kind of a weird-looking elf. I mean, those fucking mutton chops are goddamn ridiculous on you. And your skin is blue. Can you train me? Oh! You are very proud of your training services, I see. I need to figure out how to get lots and lots of gold. Well, tell me about yourself, fellow elf. The lifestyle of a soldier did not suit me. Unlike many of my brethren, I wished to celebrate with others, not kill them. Starting a public house seemed the logical step. Right, so you're a coward, got it. Look, what do you know about the wounded Fay out there? Don't worry about that, my friend. Don't let the concerns of our local warden trouble you. You're here as a guest. There is no Red Legion. And if there was, it certainly wouldn't be out here in Gorhart. What do you mean there's no Red Legion? Everyone's talking about the Red Legion. Don't you bother yourself with that. Gorhart is safe. Our greatest concern is passing the time. Are you just absolutely full of shit? What lie will you tell me about your inn next? Established 70 years ago by the great Alden Gorhart, this inn was the first all-main structure in all of Dalantar. I won it from him in a game of knuckles. Dida serves the finest ales, and upstairs you'll find Katrin the healer. Here's some advice. Avoid Nanny Henry. I don't know what she's brewing in her little shack. That's actually good advice, given what she told me she's working on. If a person wanted a room here, what would... What would that entail? We can offer you a place to rest and refresh yourself. Interested? Fuck no! 350 gold? What kind of black cohosh have you been smoking, sir? We're here to serve. You're here to take all my money? 350 gold for a room at the end is abs it's ludicrous. It's just ludicrous. <laughs> Goodbye. We'll see you soon. New in Gorhart? Um, kind of. I have a feeling this man may have something for me to do. Now here's Dita Ilfred. I heard her name bandied about. Pull up a stool, stranger. We don't have much, but what we have won't leave a hole in your pocket. Are you here about that fey girl they found outside? I think you're lying about the hole in my pocket thing. Yes, what do you know about that fey? All I know is what I've heard from others. They say that the fair folk possess powerful nature magic. That would explain the beauty of these woods. The woods are beautiful, that's true. So, do you hate my kind like everyone else? New to the area? I don't recall the last time I met someone who was unfamiliar with the Alpha. There I'm are not. two groups. I there used to be one, but one. that was many years ago. The Losulfa are cool, slightly aloof. The Dokulfa, however, are very friendly, but their charm masks a mischievous nature. Look, don't you realize that generalizations like that perpetuate false beliefs? I mean, it's very harmful, right? You can't just say every Dokulfa is mischievous. <laughs> You're just reducing us to a stereotype. Honestly. It's like if I said every pale-skinned human is a moron. Like, that wouldn't be very nice, would it? Alright. 
tell me about yourself, I guess. Nothing of interest to tell. I'm just a simple farm girl from the plains of Erethel. I left home as a girl and travelled west. Found myself here in Gorhart. Okay, you're super boring. Great. What are the plains of Erethel? Vast rolling hills east of here near the coast. You should head that way if you wish to join the war effort. The Alpha need all the help they can get. What can you tell me about the war? I must be honest, sometimes I forget who we are fighting. All I know is that the humans and Alpha have been battling the enemy for close to ten years now. That's a long time. So... What about this inn? Anything... anything I should know about it? I've worked here since I was a girl. Arnik runs an honest business, and Agnar treats me like a daughter, though he doesn't say much. If Agnar. you need a healer's touch, Katrin works out of a room upstairs. She's Alpha, but I wouldn't hold that against her. Are you fucking kidding me with that shit? I've heard some things about Katrin's touch. I've heard some things. Scandalous. And the village? Any interesting facts about this town? It's as good a place as any, I guess. The Fey are strange, but they rarely bother us down here. I worry more about Nanny Henry, the creepy old alchemist. <laughs> she is creepy. That's true. You know anything about the Fey that was stabbed out there? I feel terrible about what happened to that girl. Gorhart used to be a nice little village. These days we're jumping at shadows. These days we're just a bunch of murderous racists. Alright, let me see your vastly overpriced goods, please. Oh my god in heaven! What the fuck? Why does everything cost so much? Daggers of skill. So skillful. Also, this is a inn. Why are you selling all of these weapons? For us of dismantling. Wait. Locking is what you need for dismantling. Crusader's necklace? I like necklaces. 10% health, that's very nice. Amon's key, Ashara. They're selling a key for 625 gold. This key will open a corresponding statue of the legendary Fey trickster, revealing its secrets. Oh, that, now that sounds like something I want. I mean, I'm not going to cough up 625 gold right now because I barely have any gold. Hey, wait a minute. Lockpicks only cost 50 here. Weren't they 60 at the last place? Wait a damn minute. Do things have different prices at different merchants? Does that mean my stuff that I want to sell has different prices at different merchants? I think it does. It does! Look! These would only sell for a hundred apiece at that other person. I remember it very specifically. I can sell stuff for more money to her than the other person. Well, I should have known that before I sold all my shit to the other person. But now I know. Next time I want to sell stuff, I gotta sell it to Dita Ilfred. She'll pay more. Goodbye. Don't be a stranger. I don't even What's know what this? that phrase means. Good job with that sweeping. The mission has locked its doors. I wonder what's going on. Probably some dodgy monk shit. If you see a law stone, touch it. You won't be sorry. They're incredible. Yeah, I've touched a law stone. It was great. Welcome. Really. Welcome. 
All right. I'm going to F5 before I talk to Ost or Dura here. Do you know what kind of food they serve at Ost or Dura's house? Or Duravs. <laughs> they just serve or Duravs. They don't serve a proper meal. Times are hard, but hard times can pay if you're willing to take risks. If you have the sword and stomach for this sort of work, we could use another strong arm among the Warsworn. Right. Maybe start by telling me something about yourself first. That's me. Warsworn since before you've been drawing breath. An oath blade near as long. What? What's an oath blade? Easy now, stripling. Earn your way to Pledge Shield first. Then, in five or ten years good service, you'll make oath blade. Right. I don't see that happening. You mentioned hard times. There's a war in the east, and Dalantarth's got our own troubles with the Red Legion thieves. Some say they've seen Tuatha in these parts. Fools, I'll believe that when I see it. I've got Tuatha blood on me right now. Oh, lots of new things to talk about. You know, about the Tuatha... They're unlike any fae you've ever seen. Red eyes to match their armor, and fierce as rabid wolves. I have red eyes. You know a thing or two about Fae, then? Fae are folk. <clears throat> They're not mortal folk. They're not concerned with the things we mortals are. So, the war. It's a real drag, isn't it? What have you been living under? We've been at war with the Tuatha for Pile 15 of corpses. years. 15? I thought it was 10. But are these Red Legion a problem? Some people say they don't exist. Some people say they're terrible. You're probably not worried about them, though. A name taken by some lot of scoundrels to glorify their thievery. A name breeds fear and doesn't die like a man. But killing the men who use the name is a start. Eh? <laughs> so oh, right, you've got jokes. That was great. Um... Yes, I'll kill some Red Legion, probably because I'll be off on my merry way trying to pick some Ember Eyes, and then they'll attack me, and they'll be like, Give us your gold, or we'll shoot you, and I'll be like, No. And then I'll chop them up with this great flaming sword on my back. So, what do you think about this town, anyway? You don't seem like you're from here. Peaceful enough, if it's peace and quiet you like. Trouble with bandits and rogues now and then. That's when they send for me. Right, I see that you're handling a lot of bandits and rogues right now while you're standing around in the tavern. At least you haven't said anything racist about elves yet. Um, okay, you mentioned the war sworn and how I could join them or something, right? What? Tell me more. Some may try to color it with fancy words, but we're warriors for hire, the best in these lands. You'll find those who have taken the oath are held in the highest respect all over Amalur. Okay, sure. I guess I could get on board with that. You could head straight to Shieldring Keep and pledge your sword. Might work, but a commendation from me would carry a lot of weight. To earn it, you must do something commendable. There are two brothers, scoundrels of the Red Legion, named Osgar and Medgar Krast. Bring me proof you've dealt with them. I'll pay in coin and my good word. Okay. Oh. The Krast brothers, eh? A couple of Gars. Anything else you can tell me about them? We've had our eyes on those two for some time. Red Legion scum. They're both dangerous, 
but it may help to know Osgar favors the bow, while Medgar favors the spear. Uh, they're both going to favor the worms in a moment. Also, I'm going to do this weird thing now where you keep looking at me, but I turn around to the side and look completely away from you while we continue talking. I hope you don't mind. I'm kind of still getting used to being alive after being dead and all. You mentioned Shieldring Keep. Where's that? Shieldring. The oldest home to the Warsworn. In the Feylands, at least. Right. Okay, thanks for not answering my question. Can you tell me anything else about the Warsworn other than, We're warriors. We're fighters for hire. There are none better with steel, swinging it, or shaping it. And none held in higher regard. You could have just said no. I can't tell you anything more about the Warsworn. Fine. Tell me how to find the Crast brothers. Osgar hides somewhere in the woods north of here. Medgar was last seen east of his brother's camp. Bring me their legion daggers, and I'll pay with coin and a commendation to join the order. But couldn't I just go kill any random legion guys and take their daggers and bring them back to you and be like, here you go? I mean, and frankly, how am I going to even know that I've killed those two guys if I'm just wading through piles of Red Legion bodies? Well, whatever. I'm just going to assume their daggers are special and we'll somehow identify them. Also, I just realized something. You have a banner right here. Do you know what this is? Do you know what this is? Because I saw this symbol on a couple other people, but it wasn't the same symbol. That's showing their faction. This is the Warsworn faction. And like when we talked to the Fate Weaver, he had the Fate Weaver symbol. And somebody else had another symbol, I think. Alright. Goodbye, Ost. Original soundtrack. I'm going to go kill some guys and get some daggers. Right. Don't trust the monks. Ooh, a new quest. Oh, let me write about this in my journal. I can join the Warsworn at Shieldring Keep, which I don't know where it is. But if I want Ost or Dura's recommendation and a payment of gold, which will probably be woefully small considering how much things cost, I must defeat two Red Legion captains, Osgar and Medgar Krastgar. Wait, no, no Gar on the last name. And return with their daggers as proof. Their daggers. Osgar hides in the woods north of Gorhart, and Medgar on the road east of town. Allegedly. As owner and proprietor, I am always looking for ways to make your stay at the Gorhart Inn a pleasant one. Great! I have a way, actually. All you have to do is lower the price of your room from 350 gold to some reasonable fucking amount. Unless you have both Krast's daggers to show me, I'll get back to my drink. It's fair price, I'd say. A commendation from me for a fitting end to those scoundrels. Right, right. You've already sold me on it. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, well, I can go up those stairs, or I can go into some sort of back room. Uh, oh! It's a bookshelf that I can loot that isn't stealing! Yes! Oh, it's about to be book reading time. Book reading hype! The Adventure 1. Oh, yeah, it's book reading time. For real. This small book is a volume of The Adventure, a famed journey through the Winter Fay lands. <clears throat> the words of Solon Rhymegar, as chronicled by Parthalan. Listen, my friends. We have set out to do what no mortals have ever done. Find the armor of own. 
So, Artes, I know you do not wish to go, but tell me why. Because if you say you are afraid, then know that we are all afraid. And that's not a good enough reason to abandon your companions in their moment of truth. The dangers we have faced before, and I love you all as brothers and sisters. I would never imperil your lives for anything. We will be cautious. I am told there are ways to defeat the Cluricon. And then we have what no mortals have dared to grasp. Immortality. Think of it. Think of the glory and excitement that awaits us. And think of how this is your only chance at that glory. Perhaps ever. You are only given one fate. Accept it. Embrace it. If you be so bold, meet me in a week's time at... Continued in the sequel. Well, I don't even have one fate. Books getting read. Oh, this must be Sister Katrin. I heard you got a good touch. Oh, that's a cool looking painting on the wall. I wonder what that place is. It looks pretty serious. You must be Katrin. I am Katrin. Do you require my healing touch in mind, body, or both? You're another Darkulfar. Good to see my own kind. You, at least, probably won't say racist things about Alfar. Well, tell me about yourself, Katrin. I am unable to watch while others suffer. Too many mortals have fallen prey to the Tuatha, and I could not stomach it. So I left my home in Rathir and travelled west. There are many Olmain villages just like this one yearning for peace, crying out in pain. What good are my gifts if I cannot make what is broken whole again? Oh, you are far too good for this shithole, Katrin. You're a beacon of light in a dismal place. What do you think of this village? This has been my home ever since my love was taken by the Tuatha. After such a loss, one craves quiet. But it seems that the war has followed me here. The war? What are your thoughts on it? I buried everything I was when I buried my family. That is the war's legacy for many of us. That is all I have the strength to say. I'm sorry for your loss. What do you think about the two author? I mean, really? What's their deal? Magic is a natural wonder, no matter how you use it. The Tuatha are the exception. Their power is tainted, and it has caused a grave imbalance. I don't know what's going on with my camera angle right now. The Fae in general, they seem very mysterious. Find the fair folk if you wish to learn the ways of magic. They understand this world in a way that is hidden from mortals. You will find many Fae in Dalantarth, as it is one of their ancestral homes. Can you tell me anything else about Dalantarth? The forests of this region are one of the densest in all of Armalor, and the stretch from Alistar to Isa. Those of us who live in the shadow of its canopy call Dalantarth the Feylands because this is where these fair folk have their seat of power. Well, they are beautiful lands. You just mentioned Alistar. What do you know about it? The Gnome's Tower stands to the west, past Gorhart and beyond the ruins of Alistar Glade. However, no one should seek Alistar. Its secrets should be kept. Well, can't unring that bell. <laughs> Uh, 
So, you're living among these Almain, these humans. What's that like? The Almain were once different tribes that recently banded together to form an empire. They are formidable creatures, but new to the way of magic. You mentioned Rathia, that that was where you were from. Where's that? The glorious Alfar city to the east is where the forces of right gather to face the Tuatha. It is an enchanting place with a long history of magic. Oh, I want to go there. I want to go there right now. So, about healing. What, uh... What made you decide to do that? I require a nominal fee only so I may eat and have a bed to call my own. Okay, well, considering that a bed costs 350 gold a night, your nominal fee is probably going to be super high. Tell me about your services. Cure diseases or lift curses here. That's good to know. And I'm sure it's going to be expensive as fuck. Also increases your max health by 10% for a duration. But N.A. I like these little art pictures they have when you go to the services. Well, Katrin, it was lovely to meet you. You're literally the best person I've encountered so far. Mostly because you didn't talk shit about how far. Goodbye. I'll be back if I need to be touched. Be safe. Those are nice looking banners. Uh... What's your deal? I don't feel comfortable with a Fey in Gorha. I swear I spotted... If you spy trouble, tell Herc Adwald. He's the warden. Okay. Uh, what's happening in here? <gasps> That's very glowy. But it's also private property. Oh, another painting. That's cool. Also private property. Alright, I think I've explored the possibilities of this inn slash tavern. Don't let your guard down. Public house. I've heard that before. Hello. Okay. Good times. Greetings. So, at this point, I've been in three of the buildings. It looks like these are actually the only three buildings, besides... Well, maybe not. Another quest over here, Sister Zelda's chillin', Gazella's chillin'. We've heard their names mentioned. Ugnar, we've heard his name mentioned as well. And then we've got whatever else is happening. Oh, there's some Boggarts over there, whatever the fuck Boggarts are. And an altar of the Death God. So, lots to do here in Dalentarth. I know about the world map, thanks. We are actually in this little area. Alistar Glade. Oh, there's that Yolvan that was mentioned. That's pretty far away. Apparently this area is called Odorath. Webwood. I think we know what we're going to find in Webwood. Etenmere. I think we know what we're going to find in Etenmere. Haxi. I think we know what we're going to find in Haxi. Hax is what we're going to find. Glendara. There'll probably be a Glen there. Borkarain. I got nothing. Unless there's fucking killer whales there. The She. Cradle of Summer. Sounds like a cool place. Oh, this map is nice, though. Plains of Arathel, Balafor. Oh, there's Rathir. Oh, that's that place from the painting. I remember seeing that thing sticking off the side of that big tower. So that's the city of the elves, I guess. Can't wait to go there. Isa. Is that the place of the Fey, maybe? The Summer Fey? 
And then we got oh House of Valor. This looks like an arena. This is an arena. It's clearly an arena. Oh, that sounds exciting. A whole bunch of sort of deserty rocks and stuff. Odessa. Another city. That looks cool. Then you've got Oh, these are the DLC areas. And you got Melsh and Shear. That's the fortress where they said the good guys were holed up against the against the bad guys. This is like the war front, basically. Cursewood. That doesn't sound like a good place. Alabaster. Ooh, look at this place. Bale. Well, I'm pretty sure you proceed through this in a basically in order. So this looks like it's the last area of the game. It's got a bunch of crystals. This is probably like the last fortress of the last boss or whatever. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm just trying to suss things out. But I like this map. And it looks like there's a lot of areas. A lot of areas. So that's pretty exciting. Um... Right. Well, can I talk to this guy again? Oh. Any help you can provide would be appreciated. She isn't doing very well. Uh. Say, Herc, what do you know about the War Swarm? Once they fought the Beasts oh. of Chaos, marching to glory through many victories. Sadly, they fell, as all great men do. Now they're nothing more than hired blades. Anyone can earn their allegiance with a few pieces of gold. I bet it's more than a few. All right, goodbye, her. Bye now. All right, so I'm going to keep exploring this town, talking to all the people, getting all the quests, doing all the things. In our next episode. That is going to do it for this one. So I'm going to quick save one final time. And... We are going to be finished with this episode. So thanks for watching. Oh, look how close I am to leveling up. Thanks for watching. This has been Josiah Plays Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning.